Afternoon everybody. This is the latest, at least currently available locally to me, Meccano Engineering and Robotics Excavator Set. It is the latest and apparently first available, at least on the high street, of all the new ones recently advertised, perhaps about a week ago on Amazon UK and Amazon France. This is arguably my favourite looking one so far. Um, looks quite nice. Not a, a massive model by the looks of it, but we'll go into that when we actually build it. This is a level 2 novice, build time 1 to 3 hours. The complexity overall is novice, and the mechanisms involved is again novice. You've got 209 parts, it's made in France because it says on the box, and of course regular viewers will remember the tear-off strip box, which are still far better than the other ones that you get from the Chinese sets which haven't got that, it's just a fold and sellotape. Not that it really matters because as soon as you've built the model it's probably going to go in the bin anyway. Hopefully not the model, just the box. This was uh, from Argos at 14 99 On the back of the box you can see some of the other style and type of models, i.e. construction sort of vehicles. And this one, although it doesn't look like it from that angle, is this one rather nice dumper truck there that is quite smart and a small bulldozer I'm not sure if I've actually seen that yet advertised Amazon UK Amazon France have got many of the new models and some look to be honest I'm gonna be honest rubbish the race truck it's almost like the person who designed say this set is into their construction vehicles and sort of gives them sort of attention to detail in a basic form perhaps but you know exactly what it is and it has good recognisable form the race truck looks like something that's been thrown together whether or not I'll buy one of them and review that I don't know uh, at the end of the day this is all funded by myself and I don't ask for any external funding from anybody because it's all about fun and another string to the hobby if you like so, yes, like, say, a Max, if I can get one really cheap, I might look into one of them, for example, and other sets. But this one, I think, is the better looking one. If you go on Amazon UK or Amazon France and do a search for um, most recent editions, uh, you should be able to find all the new ones on there. There's some interesting ones. There's a race car that looks a bit Jaguar f type pullback and go motor, like that. So, it's not all bad. Here we go then folks. I lost in the uh, tear off stripping one go challenge. And, I've said this before, it's great to see a box that fits the amount of parts and the amount of parts that fits the box. Too much space is a waste. It doesn't perhaps look so impressive on the shelf if you actually find these on the shelf, of course from Argos these aren't but we seem to have a rather full box, in fact a very full box and we have nice double bagging and triple bagging probably so very good packaging a bit excessive on the plastic packaging if I was honest but yeah okay and we have stuck at the bottom seen that before, flyer for all the fairly latest stuff so we'll just dispense with that straight away. And here we have the instruction book. It's a very light and thin one. And there's no... Oh, sorry, there is. I thought it was going to be stapled. There is some stitching up the side. But like all French ones, it only goes, say, an inch or so from each end. And uh, it's not as good as the Chinese put-together ones. But we'll see. A thin book means generally an easy and less of a build. Now some ways having a less of a build is not really a challenge. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a challenge and dare I say it I'll just show you a little quick bit of it. That there is a 1969 power drive diesel locomotive and the instructions if you've never seen them uh, in that period of Meccano are uh, challenging. <laughs> That's the polite way. So it leaves more to your imagination and in some ways that's more satisfying but today we want ease of build we'll show you that at a later date and the new modifications to the Aventador I've done and this rather smart Junior Meccano fire engine and as we know it's called Dennis because all fire engines are called Dennis 
Right folks, you can see my mug of tea there. And I've put that there for a, a reason. Um, some people may know that I'm a bit of a Land Rover freak for my sins. I must have been a bad person in a former life. <laughs> I won't go on about dealers. I will be here all day. As I'm filming this, it is two years to the day since they ceased Defender production. And although the first one, Series 1, Series 2, Series 3s and all the variants were not Defenders, it was the continuation of the line. And it's a bit of a sad day in some ways. They're not perfect, and certainly the dealers aren't, so Huey, there, was the first one. Here we are, so look at this instruction book. I do apologise for the shine, it is very awkward when the uh, instruction books are shiny. Normally the French ones aren't quite as shiny as the Chinese ones, this one does look fairly decent. Even though it's only a thin one, it's a shame it's not got the plastic covering. So, quickly through the basics, we have the tips what you can make in the set, the table of contents or rather not really table of contents although it does say that it's the table of the model in the set which is the digger more details on the parts in the set and here we get to the instructions now straight away I can see more use of the mechanoid parts or style parts there's a chunky what I will call a flat plate there uh, very clear and we've got white outlining, oh excellent Meccano, I've been asking for this white outlining of the black parts in the inset parts list there that's great, sometimes it just looks like a blob so that's really good some of the parts look a little bigger as well like the standard washer there is a little bit bigger, of course bigger, easier to see now I'm uh, in my forties and uh, my eyesight is going a little bit but generally it's pretty good, if you are a little older and your eyesight's going in a little worse for wear or indeed you've got issues with your eyesight anyway we need these to be in some cases clearer if it's clearer to see it's easier to build by default less any issues in the actual design so this is great great to see so yeah more white outlining looks pretty clear the colours of the parts seem to match the colours better as well in the past I've had uh, issues with say a part like that, now I know what it is um, but it's very dark grey and if you're not really into Meccano and <laughs> perhaps um, a bit as sad as some of us that could be awkward because you're looking for a part here that looks say grey or it's supposed to be zinc so it's supposed to be quite shiny which is, which is awkward to reproduce really but the actual one over here in the instruction itself is really different shade and it's like is that the right one is there a different colour it's adding another difficulty nice to see there's a lot more effort there so great I'm really impressed with the uh, the black outlining of the parts there and here as well you've got uh, white holes showing sometimes that is because the angle is more of a blob as I say normally we won't find out any issues until we get to building the model I must find a better way of doing this actually, it's very awkward trying to hang around the camera without trying to knock it. So yeah, great. Look, there's a classic blob picture with uh, one of the large plastic spacers there. That's usually just a blob, a nice white outlining and shading, great stuff, really good, really good indeed. And it looks to be quite a smart looking digger. So anyway, stage you've got. 31 stages, the last one being putting the wheels on at the rear and uh, I suppose we better have a look at the parts, see what's new. Without actually going through the parts themselves that I'm a bit unsure about, I can't really see any new parts, not brand new parts. One, I'm pretty sure is, one I don't know there's a bit of an itch there, a bit of a bell ringing so to speak wheels may be similar but different patterns to others but we'll have a look when I get into the bags but so far then we'll start at the top value of the set my usual basic fixings at the top here we've got the nuts 50 50 nuts at dealer prices at the moment if I can read my own writing is £2.50 washers quite a good amount in this set 18 that's going to cost you 72p one thing I do like about this set, because I've run out, the small angle brackets are included and there's four of those and they're really useful those are. 
Continue with the fixings, there's not that many standard bolts across here. You see a standard bolt's 19. Well that ain't a great deal, that's only 152, but there is 20 9.5mm bolts here. Now those are 15p each at dealer prices, making £3. The standard nuts, the standard length bolts, the 9.5mm bolts and the washers all come to £7.74 at dealer prices and this is a 14 99 set so just those few parts the basic fixings if you like with the addition of some 9.5mm in the main they are the most by one included in the set is more than half the price of the set so overall I think it's pretty good value on parts whether you can utilize the newer more mechanoid style parts easily in other creations who knows that will come in time the one part that I'm fairly sure is new, but it may not be, is this small bucket. Now I think in yellow it is new, but it may have been in black in a small excavator set of about three to four years ago now, the Evolution Digger Stroke Excavator. The other part, which I'm not quite sure, this is really ringing a bell somewhere in the back of my head, the mud guard parts there, I'm, I think I've seen them somewhere before. Not sure, possibly in the was it like the the log grabber, which would have been an evolution set for about three four years ago, but I don't think it was ever created into a set. It was only a prototype. There's something nagging there. Other than that, it's all pretty normal. There may be different patterns to the tyres. A lot of it's pretty normal. There is some metal, of course. There's a lot more plastic, as is the way at the moment. But overall, it seems a pretty good value for money set on parts. I went to look through the bags and dug out the parts that I think are new. Some are, some aren't, some may be, and one isn't. In some ways, it may be just slight differences. But anyway, if you know better than me, please let me know. Because I don't buy every set, and some sets, I perhaps wait to them a bit cheaper, or it's been that long since I've actually built something or even looked at that set. So it's all, it's all done from memory, so bear with me on that. If you do know any better, let me know. These mud guard parts, there's just one of them. Yellow, nicely made. No bits of moulding or anything stuck off it. Nicely done. But where have I seen that before, if I have? Don't know. The bucket, the small bucket, as I said, it may have been in the Evolution set excavator from about three to four years ago. Even so, again, nicely made. The front bucket, though, this may have been in a smaller excavator evolution set. Or it may have been the same one. I have one somewhere, but this one seems a lot more shallow than that one. So I'm not sure about that. The tyres. Perhaps nothing too special about these. But the pattern seems different there. And the smaller one I think is totally new, but again, let me know if I'm wrong on that one. We've just got the M on it on that one now, we haven't got Meccano on it. Oh, what's the one about the word Meccano? I'm from the black country, and just for Melvin, just for you Melvin, Meccano, 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 Meccano. Ha! Just having a laugh Melvin. Another wheel, I haven't seen that before. Nicely made again, no bad moulding. This one's I think I'm pretty sure he's new. Small. Oh, it's not going to focus that close, I don't think. There we are. Nice small wheel. Uh, presumably about half an inch, which is what? 12 and a half, 13 millimeter. Those are the ones that are either new, slight variant, or maybe a different colour from parts of old. This one isn't. I've just got this out because it may seem strange, but this is one of my most favourite parts. Now it might seem a bit weird to have a favourite part. This one is metal. It's a one and a half inch by one and a half inch, or one and a half inch square if you prefer, flat plate. Because it's sturdy. And it's in a yellow. Now there's been umpteen different shades of yellow in Meccano over the years. I would equate this yellow to the more, perhaps, yellow of the 1990s sets. So it's a bit thick. Got a decent covering apart from that little, little bit of a nick there. So that's not new by any means, that's been around since probably the year dot. But really, really good useful part that. So there we are folks, the Meccano Engineering and Robotics Excavator, brand spanking new out. 
slightly bulbous box now, I've had to cram all the parts back into it. I dare say we'll be going on with this one very very shortly. Bye for now.